I wanted to give a quick update because it's been so long. I've been on Zyram now for approximately three years and it's been working very well for me still, which I think is really exciting because I know a lot of people take start medication and after a while it seems to stop working. But so far there seems to be um, no decrease in how effective this medication is for me. I don't need any of my stimulants anymore, but I do keep New Vigil with me um, in particular when I'm traveling and there's a time change or if I know I'm going to have to work long shifts. Um, a couple improvements in my life are that I did manage to graduate nursing school and then I'm working full time as a nurse, which is really, uh, it's been very rewarding and it's keeping me very busy, which is why I'm not posting. Other things that have gone well and that I think our direct result of being on Zyram is that I've been able to join a cycling team. I can ride a bike all day and be confident enough that I'm not going to fall asleep and that I'm not going to crash, even if things are a little bit stressful. Um, one of the greatest things that's happened is I've been able to have, I guess, kind of a fairly normal range of emotions. Like I can, I can laugh and I can feel angry and I can feel frustrated and I can feel um, some joy. But I don't do very well with um, being uh, scared still. That's, that's something that kind of gets me. And, uh, but, I mean, what a change. Other things that are going well, I guess are, I, you know, I still don't need a nap on a daily basis. And, um, oh my gosh, what else? It, it's just been a, it's just been really good. And I just want to let you guys know that, like, I hope you all find something that works for you, but as I've said before, you got to step out and take the responsibility and listen to yourself and your body. Um, I'm able to drive. I had been driving before, but I wasn't so confident, and I don't drive a lot now, but it's, um, it's good to have the confidence in yourself that if a situation comes up and something is frustrating or whatever that may get you, you know you're going to be able to stay awake through it and be in control of your vehicle I guess almost as much as a normal person. And that's huge because I'm looking to move out from, move away from New York City and I will need to drive wherever I live. Um, things that have gone wrong have been bummers, I guess, over the past year or so with narcolepsy. I, uh, I was declined a job because I have narcolepsy. A lot of places for nurses require night shifts and... I can't work night shifts and they don't have to accommodate you for that. Um, it was really a bummer when it happened, but I'm thankful that I do have a job that is willing to work with me and accommodate me um, and keep me on the day shift as much as possible. Um, I'd say the biggest things that I am frustrated with with narcolepsy are living so chained to a sleep schedule and also being so chained to the medication. While it's a huge blessing, it's also very frustrating to almost have anxiety about, oh, you know, where's my medication? And when I travel, like, I had to make sure I bring enough. And what happens if I don't bring enough? And what is my refill? And I guess it's kind of always this lingering, uh, I don't know, like, it's definitely a tether. But I guess it's a tether I'm willing to live with because it pays off. One problem with the medication, or especially if you travel a lot, I actually got stranded during Hurricane Sandy away from New York, and I didn't bring, I only brought, gosh, maybe a two or three, this was foolish on my part, I brought maybe five day supply, ended up stranded away from New York for over a week, and if that happens to you, um, they will not send you more medication, you, you will just be without it. And really all that happens is you kind of go back to your old self. You go back to being tired. And it's not a sudden, like, oh, my life is over. But in a way, it feels like that when you've felt so good for so long. It's, um, it's kind of hard to accept that deep down you do have narcolepsy and that you have to live by these rules. So that's a, it takes a lot of, I guess, patience with yourself is what I really... I think everybody needs to have a little patience with themselves because as you feel better and better and you get new, used to your new life, 
having narcolepsy treated, there's going to be a lot of changes and ups and downs and little struggles you have to deal with. And, I mean, you're strong enough to get this far. You should just, you know, you just keep going. And, you know, it's, it's really been great. Um, you have to be careful about combining with other medications. It could be sedating. Um, there are a lot of medications that you should not take with it. And uh, you actually could put yourself at risk for death with any sort of, you know, combining sedatives of any sort. Even if you're not thinking about it, like, oh, you have a cold and you take a NyQuil. Well, that is Benadryl. You know, you can stop your breathing. It is a certain central nervous system depressant. And uh, the whole point of Xyrem is to have a full life. So, yeah, just keep focused and always on your game and always paying attention that way. Hmm. Also, the sodium content kind of worries me, I guess, realizing how long life is and how much, really what it means to take a medication every day. Um, I mean, I'm a young person, I feel healthy. It's, to think about its cumulative impact on my body sometimes worries me, but there's no research out there that says it's going to hurt, you know, to hurt me or you. So that's, a, that's on the bright side. Of course, if you have um, issues with hypertension or retain a lot of sodium, the medication is not going to work well for you. What else? I guess that's about it. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, yeah, keep posting and emailing me. I always appreciate hearing from you.